Dear colleagues, here's a question for voting. Just one incorrect decision has to be chosen. Please do your voting. Four options of answer are in front of you. Before doing the plan of treatment, it's necessary to do the comprehensive assessment of the general condition of the patient. Second, it's necessary to assess uh, the expected uh, benefits of an anti-tumor uh, therapy in comparison with potential toxicity. Three, there are many unresolved problems at treatment of elderly patients. And number four, the benefit of systemic therapy is only with the young patients. Please vote. Now, you see, the majority is correct. It means they are listening to us. Yes, true. It's not true that only uh, young patients benefit from anti-tumor systemic therapy. It's a difficult issue, and only attentive listeners answered correctly. That means we're really being listened to. Thank you for listening so attentively. So voting is over. Now, breast cancer in elderly patients. The survival data uh, has improved in the last decade. However, the breast cancer diagnosis is often made late in patients aged over 60. Nearly half the patients have remote metastasis at diagnosis. Besides, doctors are wrong when thinking that patients will not tolerate treatment uh, well due to their elderly. The average age of diagnosis of breast cancer is 63 years in elderly patients, and the um, average death age is 69 years. Um, uh, complications of elderly age treatment uh, is uh, there's a big difference between uh, the health condition of different elderly patients. Some are very weak, some are okay. There are guidelines, uh, Russian guidelines and uh, um, foreign uh, guidelines. We have a guidelines on oncoherontology that one can uh, familiarize with. And now ESMO has stated its position. The age of the patient should be the only reason to um, refuse uh, using efficacious uh, therapy or uh, very strong treatment, uh, aggressive treatment uh, in young patients. Uh, common guidelines of um, uh, European Oncology Society and European uh, Society of Breast Cancer Treatment in Elderly Patients recommends to do the screening of uh, patients uh, age 70 and higher to uh, find the vulnerable groups and uh, to assess the risk of negative um, outcome. If the screening provides a positive result, they do the comprehensive heriatric assessment. Calculators should be used. And the heriatric assessment, we are studying it in our center, enables us to develop comprehensive individual treatment plan to focus the toxicity of anti-tumor therapy, to do the selection of patients for specialized treatment, and uh, to make decisions on treatment modifications. Um, such questionnaires, calculators, are being used nowadays but they should be used more widely in our clinical practice. Um, uh, since um, uh, then we um, consider all the factors related to patient, to the disease, to treatment, to geriatric assessment, etc. on the basis of heriatric symptoms. The difficulties of treatment of elderly patients are related to the following. Patients older than 70 aren't included in the screening program of breast cancer, and that provides the risk of late diagnosis. Elderly uh, patients are presented well enough in clinical trials. Uh, the evidence basis is small on the peculiarities of elderly uh, patients' treatment. Uh, elderly patients um, have the risk of insufficient or too aggressive treatment. Uh, there are several um, trials on treatment of breast cancer. The well-known um, uh, treatment here, uh, uh, the GB-097, um, that compared the standard uh, chemotherapy, uh, CMF, um, um, against uh, the capacitive uh, treatment in elderly uh, 
patients um, with early breast cancer. And it was proven that um, uh, patients with reception negative uh, state of S the mode on the basis of capacity was worse than the standard um, uh, mode with AC. In comparison with the CMF um, on the uh, non relapse uh, survival. But if you compare the two modes of elderly patients, um, uh, the uh, weekly uh, values of the Texas Excel uh, in adjuvant mode, um, there were no uh, significant differences, uh, relapse, uh, non relapse survival, but there were differences in um, toxicity. Well, uh, what data do we have on recommendations in HEP2 positive breast cancer? It's considered that testosomab with um, a chemotherapy using the skim DC is the best for elderly patients. However, it's necessary to use the colon stimulating factors to uh, prevent uh, febrile neutropenia. And uh, as uh, mentioned, the classical chemotherapy with the skim atrocycline with toxin with the uh, colon stimulating uh, factors. Trastuzumab throughout the year is only possible for uh, carefully selected uh, patients. The study of near adjuvant uh, chemotherapy with amphetamines and not with uh, double adjuvant to therapy, uh, the survival with no progression and general survival data uh, for uh, three this was okay in her two uh, positive uh, patients. Trastuzumab causes uh, febrile uh, neutropenia, cardiotoxicity, and secondary uh, malignant neoplasm. What do we know about the metastatic cancer of um, uh, breast in elderly uh, patients? Toxane uh, mode is an alternative. Um, if um, we consider the cardiotoxicity of anticycline uh, antibiotics, um, uh, the cardiovascular complications in this uh, category of patients are the most significant ones. And uh, there are other uh, studies uh, recently published. Uh, that's a study on a uh, study of Ribolin in line two and three in elderly patients with metastatic breast cancer. And uh, yes, uh, first of all, the quality of life was uh, preserved. And uh, geriatric uh, parameters, uh, comprehensive geriatric assessment, uh, besides the instrumental activity and depression median, uh, survival with no progression was uh, full 49 a month. Uh, general um, survival was uh, 31 months, um, general survival. So that's a satisfactory uh, thing. At metastatic uh, uh, breast cancer in uh, elderly patients. Here we regard that in the first line, uh, the CETEC cell three weeks um, when uh, using colony stimulating factors or weekly poplitic cell and trastuzumab trastuzumab are the standard treatment of the first line only in selected elderly patients. Weak patients, elderly ones, uh, should get metronome cyclus vomit, rimelin or colivitzilzamin with a double. Uh, blockade anti HER2 monotherapy with trastuzumab or anti HER2 uh, blockade of um, pertuzumab and trastuzumab without chemotherapy should be given to weak elderly patients with the high risk of complications. Now, regarding the second line TDM uh, mode, trastuzumab aptacin is recommended uh, for the second following lines for elderly patients. It's necessary to continue studies on weaker patients, uh, and the following lines are referred. Of a we know that in combination with capacitabine, uh, such um, and, um, complications as diarrhea get uh, stronger. Uh, hence, uh, we need a uh, good follow up of this uh, category of uh, patients. Uh, we are getting more and more results. Uh, so, new drugs shall come to preclinical practice. Here is a study published at Auscott um, this uh, year on efficacy of uh, immunocontrol with in patients with a triple negative breast cancer survival with no progression was 7.1 in the group uh, with astezumab, gavidatecana, and 2.4 months in the choice uh, drug group, uh, the choice of the doctor. That was all in patients older than 65. General survival uh, median was 15.3 and 8.3 months accordingly. Pay attention to the fact that uh, these are uh, uh, triple negative uh, patients with a uh, very um, negative uh, focus. 
discussed, the International Society of Geriatric Oncology in the year 17 developed an algorithm for selection of patients suitable for peroral endotumor therapy and tools for monitoring of adherence to treatment. It's important uh, because a lower adherence in elder uh, patients is frequent, uh, and it's important to understand that uh, we need to control this and the possible adverse events. Um, uh, per oral uh, therapy, hormone or inhibitor cyclin dependent kinases, capacitabine is a convenient option for patient uh, treatment uh, in our healthcare system. But one should consider the patient's uh, compliance uh, for the achievement of uh, maximum effects. Uh, the reason for low compliance may be concomitant uh, diseases, cognitive lesions, the toxicity of treatment, uh, and uh, uh, comprehensiveness of um, agent treatment. Uh, here is the data on profile of toxicity, quality of life, uh, mainly uh, it's uh, presented uh, according to the uh, groups of clinical uh, trials. CDK uh, 4 6 inhibitors are equally effective in both elderly and younger patients. Uh, there's a similar efficacy when using all the three main inhibitors of cyclin dependent kinases, and uh, uh, the profile of toxicity is the same or a bit higher in elderly patients in comparison with the young ones. Monarch, um, um, Study. Uh, studies uh, included patients um, under 65 uh, as well. Uh, that's uh, the info of um, over 650 patients. Uh, 424 were under 65, the rest were older 65. Uh, altogether, 245 of those. Um, the benefit and overall survival may 9.4 months. Besides uh, an experimental analysis of data um, of Monarch 2 and 3, was made in three age groups under 65, 65, 74, and uh, older than 75. Um, Bimotoclip is equally effective uh, for survival without progression, irrelevant of the age in both studies. Besides, uh, we studied the uh, safety of bimotoclid, we know that the toxic profile in such uh, patients receiving uh, bimotoclid is diarrhea, and uh, it was proved that bimotoclid in combination with hormone therapy provides an uh, uh, acceptable profile of safety, and in all the studied age groups, so it's okay to use this uh, combination. Besides, uh, high frequency of diarrhea development uh, with bimotoclid uh, treatment is usually limited uh, with by the first or second level of severity, it doesn't um, need the correction of the dose. And thanks to inhibition of CDK4, uh, in comparison with cyclin dependent uh, kinase 6, it has smaller hematological toxicity that's important for this category of patients. Um, in comparison with the other inhibitor CDK4 or uh, 6, uh, take a look at the patients older than 75, uh, uh, the prescription of the the clip enables uh, to get rather um, not high uh, parameters of neutropenia, uh, grade 3 and 4. We know that for the other drugs, papacyclip, ribociclip, neutropenia is a serious adverse uh, event for this very category of uh, uh, patients. Um, so perhaps bimotoclip should be prescribed, rather should prescribe them. Dear colleagues, we'll now vote once again. We have four options. Uh, uh, answer, please. Uh, Choose one wrong statement among those four. Please vote. We have 40 seconds for voting. Voting is started. There are four options of uh, response. Uh, before the plan of um, uh, treatment is done, uh, we need to make a comprehensive assessment of the general condition. One should consider uh, the benefits of anti-tumor therapy and possible risks as well. There are many unresolved problems at treatment of uh, patients and for uh, the benefits 
benefit of systemic therapy uh, for uh, bringing down the mortality is only in young patients in comparison with the young ones. Um, while we're voting, we have the term ageism. When elderly people get uh, limitations in treatment, uh, though this is a role. If it's a hormone positive uh, breast cancer, adherence uh, to this uh, treatment is pretty high, and uh, abimetziklib in particular enables to improve the results of the treatment. A result of voting, 53% believe that incorrect is to believe that uh, young patients only benefit from systemic um, treatment. This option was incorrect. Systemic therapy for elderly patients with metastatic breast cancer, relevant of the age, is beneficiary. Thus, uh, this uh, presentation is topical, and the benefit of systemic therapy is uh, observed in elderly patients as well. I should um, mention once again that half the diagnosed cases of breast cancer is uh, in elderly patients over 65. That's important. You should understand. Most of the patients get breast cancer at an older age. There are still many unresolved problems. Traditionally, elderly patients are not presented well enough in clinical trials. We do have uh, targeted trials. However, uh, the patients are selected according to the criteria healthy with no heliatric syndromes. And before the general assessment of the general condition is necessary, and we should expect the benefits, and we should consider the benefits in comparison with toxicity, and we should consider both the duration of life and the quality of life. Uh, yes, sir, this evidence that uh, elderly uh, patients get same benefits from systemic therapy as um, young uh, patients regarding the uh, mortality bringing down and no relapses. Um, we have prepared three guidelines, uh, comprehensive heriatric assessment of oncology patients, uh, special features of anti-tumor uh, treatment of elderly patients, uh, and special features of treatment, elderly patients treatment depending on neoplasms, on their localization. Here you see a big team of authors mentioned, uh, headed by Alexei uh, Mikhailovich, and Vadim uh, Singlazov is also the co-author of this guideline. Uh, the initiator of this work was Mr. Uh, Madame Tkachenko. So let me thank Yelena uh, for assisting uh, to present uh, this uh, presentation. Uh, Again, dear colleagues, let me drive your attention to the fact that cancer patients relevant of their age are candidates for timely and modern treatment. Uh, thank you very much for your attention.